Can I ask exactly what has Frank Lampard done that's impressed you in particular? Because this is a team that finished third last season, qualified for the Champions League. Yes, they lost Eden Hazard and they had a transfer ban. But it's not like Chelsea had a very poor squad prior to this. There are players there that have won the Premier League. There are players there that are international players for their countries. Are you, are you, ser are you serious, Adam? I mean, you, you've just said they lost their best player. Yes. Eden Hazard, who bailed them out last season. Did you think they'd get a Champions League spot this season? Did you think they'd get a Champions League spot? With the I fact always, that they couldn't bring players in. I always Brand liked... Pulisic. I always thought he was very good at Dortmund and in the second half of the season he's really come alive and he was bought last year before their transfer ban and their squad was is... He already made, was he a ready-made replacement for Hazard? Come on. Did Liverpool buy many players? Sorry? Did Liverpool buy many players? No, but we're not talking about Liverpool. We're talking about Chelsea. We're talking about a transfer embargo. We're talking about a young manager going into the club. There wasn't the pressure to challenge for, for a Premier League title this season. That was the only sort of plus point for Frank Lampard. Since the Abramovich era, every manager who's gone in there, there's been that expectation. The expectation wasn't there this season. But Frank has had so much to deal with. And it hasn't always been pretty this season. And they've, they've you know, had some difficult times, but all things being equal, for them to be sitting in third place at this moment in time is a great success for Frank and Chelsea, and they've got to see it through. Yet last season, they also finished third, Chris. I'm just trying to see yeah, what... They've, they've had an embargo. Other clubs have had the opportunity to bring players in. Chelsea haven't. They lost their best player. Their is that outstanding player, the player week in and week out who carried them. So going into the start of the season, who was thinking Chelsea were going to finish third? But is it any Nobody. is it any guarantee that you'll actually improve a squad by buying players? Look at Tottenham; they finally bought some players last summer, and they're doing worse this season than they have done in previous years. They got to the Champions League final effectively without signing anybody last year. But but, but what what's been the positives? for Chelsea this season. The likes of Mount coming to the fore, Tammy Abraham coming to the fore. They've now done some good business in Ziyech and, uh, and Furness, as things are looking up, but they need to do some more business as well. Yeah. I think the yeah. goalkeeper's a, a massive issue. I don't know what Dave thinks. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. defensively, you, you know, you called at the top of the programme, Adam. They've conceded too many goals. Frank will know that. But, there, you know, there's no point worrying about that at this moment in time. Get over the line, get a Champions League spot. You know the riches which come with the Champions League and the finance uh, which comes with that. And then he can address all these issues once the season finishes. What's your take on this, Dave? Yeah, I, I, do you know, I have to say, at the start of this season, when you look around and you think, all right, not many people would have expected Sheffield United to be there, maybe not Wolves. Man United, before Fernandes, was still thrown in hiccups left, right and centre. Um, Leicester, I think, have probably been a surprise for some people as well. Um, fallen off, you know, they're having a bit of a Brexit moment with Europe at the moment. It's like they don't want to be there, but they might still get over the line. Spurs, you know, I'm a Spurs fan, and as soon as Mourinho came, I knew it wasn't going to be a happy, better days coming for us. Arsenal are awful. I think perhaps I did think that Chelsea might sneak in, maybe not third, but I, I, I did think that they had enough um, to, More than to Spurs? Get you thought they'd finish above Spurs at the start uh, of the season? No, I thought Spurs would be a lot closer than where they are, I have to say. But um, but the moment Mourinho was installed, I thought, there goes the attack in football. Um, that's it. And that's been borne out, unfortunately. I think that brand of football is, is done. I think Chelsea are benefiting from a clutch of teams that aren't where any of them really want to be um, at, 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 this, at this moment in time. Um, and I, I agree with you, actually, in fairness, I've probably been a bit harsh, but I think, yeah, do you know what, if you, talking about Frank Lampard specifically, you know, third place, all right, they'll go out to Munich, that's no, I'll, actually, I would look forward to watching that game, that's a little bit of a lie with me saying I don't look forward to watching Chelsea, I'll watch it, because I think Munich will score a hatful against them, um, I don't fancy them to do anything in the cup, you'd have to say, listen, at the start of the season, if you handed Lampard third place, with, with one hand tied behind his back with the transfer ban, yeah, you'd have to say he, he has ripped up a couple of trees there.